Starts. This view is going to be scintillating. Doesn't get any better than taping a corner like that. Oh my gosh! Fall ball is happening right now on college campuses. And as the 2018 season gets started, we want to take a look back at some of our favorite goals of 2017. Lax.com released highlight reels of the best college goals from 2017 and the best high school goals from 2017. So to start, we're gonna pick two of our favorites from the college season. My favorite was Joel Tinney, game winner, fake flip. So good. I mean, Tinney, Incredible. all the fake flips this year were awesome. My favorite was in the playoffs, Joe Sider from Towson just rips the corner. The angles that they had on this was insane. It was like a dream goal. One of the best goals easily of the past like five years. Blacks.com also did their best goals of the high school 2017 season. My favorite here was Owen Seabald from Highland Park, Texas. Comes around the net, kind of like dangling it, goes to five and five and throws it over his head. That's like the goal I've always wanted to score. And my favorite was from Brendan Curry from Calvert Hall. He's on the left wing, switches it into his left hand. Defender gives him too much space and he makes him pay. Ugh, yikes. Ugh. Scary. Yeah, so basically ah. I just love when someone has like time and room and just buries it in the corner. So check out those videos. We link them in the description and let us know which one was your favorite goal from last season. Also over the past week, I saw a picture of Tahoga at Albany. I'm really excited to watch him play, but he was wearing a box helmet. There was a really good poll on Twitter from 412 Labs and he asked, is Albany gonna let Tahoga wear the box helmet? We put a poll in the corner Vote, what do you think? Should Tahoga be able to wear the box helmet or are they gonna let him? I guess that's the question. Yeah, I guess they're gonna let him, right? I mean they've done it before. We've seen we've it's seen not guys the rules. We've seen guys wear box helmets before. Is it against the rules? I don't know. Anyways, I guess just vote. We'll put some options in the corner about a box helmet in field. So the box lacrosse news just keeps coming. We mentioned this last week on the weekly watch, but Philly now again has an NLL team. The Philadelphia Wings were one of the first teams in the NLL. They were around like in the 70s when it wasn't even actually called the NLL. So Philadelphia is used to box lacrosse. They have a big fan base there and now they're gonna have a team once again. Bringing back the Philly team is part of the NLL's five-year plan to bring like 20 teams into the league. So with teams like San Diego that we heard about and Philadelphia, it's really exciting, especially because of the owners that they're bringing. These owners are the same owners as the Philadelphia 76ers, as well as the Flyers. So it's always good when you see ownership groups that already are invested in professional sports. Like the Outlaws have this with the ownership company that owns the Broncos. The reason this is important is because you get like an infrastructure that knows how to handle professional sports. They give these players the best of the best in terms of resources. Yeah. That was right? really well said. It's just really important. Yeah, that was great. Because we deserve like the best. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for more news on the Philly franchise. We're not sure what they're going to be called yet, if they're going to be called the Wings again, or something totally different. And stay tuned just in general for more NLL news. The commissioner, Nick Sakevich, he said that they're going to have even more news about new teams very shortly, which is awesome. I can't wait to find out where the next team is going to be. And if you have any ideas for a Philly team name, comment them below. Like, I think they should stick with the wings. Yeah, I think the wings, but like the cheesesteaks or like the uh, or like the broccoli robs. That's pretty Philly. Or like the Liberty Bells. Mm, the Bells would be cool. All right, well, or let us always, know. the Always Sunnies, speaking of. Whoa. To round out our discussion on box lacrosse, let's talk about the Man Cup. The Peterborough Lakers are the champions. They won four straight games against the Salmon Bellies. What up, Lake Show? Is that what they call them? Or did you just take that from the Lakers? Yeah, I just, I think I'm just a Lakers guy. I like all Lakers. So congrats to Curtis Dixon and everyone who plays for the Peterborough Lakers and all of their fans who are now known, I guess, as the Lake Show. Lake Show! All right. Every week before we shoot this show, we take a look at the TLN Nation hashtag, as well as all the DMs that go to the TLN Nation account. This week, two videos that we wanted to highlight. The first one is from Next Level Video from Team Igloo, coming around the cage, no look, snipe. Like, about as far in the corner as you can possibly go. We spent some time with Team Igloo at World Series of Youth Lacrosse. Those kids are really talented. Super legit. 
And the next video, we have a pole taking it down on a clear, splits two defenders and makes them run into each other. <laughs> That's really good. That clip came to us from game time footage. Make sure to hashtag TLN Nation if you want to be featured on this show and on the Lacrosse Network Instagram account. And now, some news from the women's game. Mesh will now be allowed in women's sticks. This was part of an effort to make the women's game like more accessible to younger and new players. There's a lot of different changes happening in the women's game, like the addition of helmets and now the addition of mesh in sticks. It'll be really interesting to see how that affects the women's game. You still can't have like an illegal pocket, like the depth is still the same. But I wonder with mesh, like, will it break in more? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Any of you women's lacrosse players can comment below. Let us know your thoughts on that. I'd love to hear from you. I think one of the great things about our sport on the men's and women's side is that we're always thinking about how to improve it, how to make it more accessible and easier for new people to start picking up a stick. I love seeing the fact that, like, our sport is open to change. All right. Last week, we asked you to comment below and tell us what the next challenge should be. So last week, we had the low angle challenge. Some of those are still coming in, which is awesome. But we wanted a new challenge for the community. A couple of ideas that we really liked. One, the crossbar challenge. Two, the double pipe challenge. That one seems like the most difficult. Three, we've been seeing a little bit of this on social right now, the fruit ninja challenge. It's like where you take fruit and you shoot it at the crossbars. I think ECD did it. It's like, uh, Kind of an interesting one. The one that I would like to see though is the double pipe challenge. I think I'd like to see the crossbar challenge. It sounds really difficult, but like, if you can do that, like play wall ball on a crossbar. Oh, I thought that was more like the bar down challenge. Oh, that's interesting. I thought it was more like throw the ball, hit the crossbar, have it come back to you. How many times can you hit the crossbar and have it come back? That takes some serious accuracy. I feel like we wouldn't see that many of those come through because it's so difficult. Yeah, well, let us know which one of those you guys like. That's it for the weekly watch this week. Don't forget, like this video, subscribe if you don't already. Vote in the poll. I think it's over here. Vote, vote in the poll, something about box lacrosse helmets. Comment below, what do you think the Philadelphia NLL team should be called? And also comment below what you think about the mesh in the women's sticks. And if you can't remember what to comment below or can't think of anything, just comment something. Just like something nice, maybe. And lastly, to end this episode, Chaz Woodson announced his retirement from the MLL. We're gonna leave you with his highlights. See ya.